Interesting debate to start Very. to start off with. Um, you know, if you've got nieces and nephews and younger kids, and uh, if you've got grandparents and all that sort of thing, have we now got to the stage where it is um, acceptable to say to your grandparents uh, that they can't kiss children? That's the stage we're at because this is happening at schools across Australia. It's a new education initiative, and it's about teaching consent. Now, you may understand that or you may think that is a step too far. Well, we're joined now by two uh, mothers, uh, a mum of two, Rebecca Jane, and parenting expert Jane Evans, also a mother herself. Uh, very different opinions on this. So, Jane, just tell us about this initiative. There's, they're rolling this out in Australia, in schools. The object of it being what? The object of it is something, it's actually very simplistic. It's just that we allow children to decide who can or can't touch their body, when, how, what, where, which is just to keep them safe. Mm. There's it's, nothing... not, it's not just about grandparents, it's about everybody. Everyone. But it's now including grandparents. Yes. So if you don't want a grandparent to kiss you or tickle you, you yeah. are allowed to say no. Or is they have the to idea? ask in advance. They have to ask permission, yes. And, you know, it's quite, it sounds big and clunky, but it should just be a part of daily life. You know, if I met you, well, we did meet in the green room, both of us, and I wouldn't just launch into a hug. I would, you know, I might say, oh, I've always, you know, wanted to meet you and I'd love to give you a hug. I wouldn't grab you, hug you. No, but then most grandparents wouldn't launch into a hug with anybody else's child, but when it's their own grandchild, But children can't know. make that distinction. Yeah. They just, they just get the message when somebody, anybody wants to hug Gets me, close. kiss me, yeah. come into my space, um, I just have to go along with it because their brains are too underdeveloped to, you know, work out the yeah. nuances. And so Rebecca, Jim, we have got to make that distinction now because, look, look, all of us will sit here and say, we are reasonable people, our grandparents were lovely people, there was no malice intended, but the thing is, there has to be a small percentage of people who have got evil on their their mind and should we protect the many because of the few? No, this is nonsense. And I think that that's the basic thing. When we came in here, we both gave a double kiss to Eamon and Ruth. Should we have asked for consent then? I, I didn't kiss anybody when I came in, but... Well, I did, and it's a natural thing. And I think that if we start sort of having adult. these, if we start having these boundaries with children and saying, "No, stop my grandmother from giving me a kiss. You've got to ask me for it." Where do we draw the line? We're going to breed cold and emotionless children, and it's going to affect their futures. No, we're going to we're going to raise children who feel safe in their own bodies, who respect their own bodies, but equally as importantly, they respect other people's bodies. This is a major crisis we have. We had the Me this Too... This is not a crisis. This is the not Me a crisis. Too campaign Grandparents running. kissing their grandchildren. It's not about grandparents. It's about everyone. It's about parents, grandparents, uncles, aunties. Most children when you say par are but when you say parents, by somebody yes. they know. That, that would worry me, because I did read this, and, you know, some of it makes sense and things, but I think, where do... where will it stop? So are we going to get to a stage, like Eamon said, you know, society is changing, we're thinking more about these things, but are we going to get to a stage where parents are going to have to ask permission to say, can I change your nappy now? Can I yes. get your pants on? Am I allowed to kiss it's you? It's not a... It sounds like a big deal because we're all making it a big deal, but actually most of us do it, you know, with our babies. Oh, I just need to pop you down and change your nappy. It's, it's that heads up of what's coming next. That's not really permission, though, is it? No. Well, you, but you take your time. Obviously, a baby can't verbalise, but you just give a little bit of a... You know, I was, I was talking to one of the researchers backstage, and I said, if you were immobile and you couldn't speak for some reason at the moment, but you were conscious, and somebody needed to come and give you a bed bath or whatever, you would just like them to say, oh, I'm just going to do this. But we're Is talking okay? about children. Even more important that we do it with children because children, their brain development is rapid. And so we wire it in that it's just natural and normal for them to feel, actually, I just... I just don't feel comfortable with this right now. You know, I was having a, a conversation with a grandmother yesterday. She said let's, her let's grandson did that one night. 
And let's let's hear from Rebecca Jane on this. We have to teach children that it is OK to give affection to their parents and to their grandparents. If you want to draw the line with strangers, fair enough, you can do that. But with their parents and their grandparents, you have to teach them. My little six-year-old would eat ice cream ten times a day if she got the choice. She would also not hug my 88-year-old grandmother if she had a choice in it. Good. To a certain extent. No, absolutely not good. Why do my you want to make My your grandfather child passed away last give week. Their bodies and I'm really to happy somebody else. for his perspective as well, that he actually knew that my children loved and adored him. And I said to her, I said, it doesn't hug have to be him. Physical. And she absolutely it, it doesn't give have to be physical is, and it's not about the affection. adults. It's not about the adults. It's about do we want to keep children safe? Of course we all do. We love our children. We love but our parents and grandparents. There's two things it's here. All what we're talking about, about is uh, a, a, an openly demonstrative way of saying you, this child is loved within the family circle, right? And you can feel love in that family circle. However, Jane, as you, as you point out, most of these abuse cases come from somebody in the immediate no, the family. family circle. Yes. Now, um, percentage in so, the 90, so Rebecca Jane, if we are protecting, I'd love to see the figures on this, but if we are protecting hundreds or thousands of children from being molested, I'm talking about over the world, yeah. by, by a rogue grandparent, is that not...? I'm pretty sure the statistics of that will be very, very small. And also, if they are going to do something like that, it's not going to change by them giving a hug. They're going it's to be a predator regardless. It's not just about grandparents. It's you about teach your children everyone, about consent. You everyone, teach... everyone, everyone, everyone. But I think this you is draw what Scott is talking, that people are, were surprised to see this initiative, including grandparents. So yeah, I think just people, any you know, family if it's, a, if it's a campaign, they had the pants campaign, didn't they, teaching yeah, which children, was fantastic. anything beneath your underwear is private. Yeah. It's just when suddenly it's which is fine, but we've gone it's too far. It's basic body Harsh. safety education. Well, Marie are... agrees with you. She says it's totally right. If a child doesn't want to kiss or hug someone, whether it be a grandparent, uncle, aunt, parent or whoever, we need to teach them it's perfectly fine to say no. Judy, Judy does however, not agree. No. She thinks this is so sad. I'm visiting my granddaughter for her first birthday soon and I am going to snuggle and kiss her. I cannot wait. Now, if we go, we've been running a poll on this and um, this is the way it's shaping up so far. The question on our app, should grandparents ask their grandchildren before kissing them? And um, uh, overwhelmingly, so far, 89% of you say no, grandparents should not ask their children before kissing them. So Which that seems really to be... really will, will it be in years to come, Jane? Let's, that we will let's hope. That's, that's why I come for these debates, because, you know, this, is, this to me is such a hopeful time that we're even aware that this is something that we, we can and should be doing with children. And it's not... You know, people tend to sexualise it, but it's just... Basic respect. So it's basic respect. Nonsense. Pure and simple. Snowflake generation gone mad. And, and, and you think, Rebecca Jane, that we're in danger of just making a colder, more yeah. distant, robotic yeah. society as a result? We need to teach children love and affection and giving hugs to grandparents and parents is 100% OK. If they want to do it, yes. OK. If okay. Guys, appreciate that. I mean, we've that. had thousands, Thank you thousands very much of indeed. comments. Thank you.